Hello, this is Gerald Arnold with the Arnold Batch Team Remax Making Realtors. Um, what I was going to talk to you today about is uh, we get asked a lot by sellers: Is now a good time to sell, or should we wait? There's a lot of other questions they ask. Questions like, um, you know, how long before uh, how long before property values come back up? Um, when will the market be normal again? They ask, you know, how bad is the market now? Um, Interest rates. They want to know how long will you know interest rates stay as low as they are, and you know the answers are not simple. There's one certainty about this though: it takes a while for property values to come back. Um, you know, a lot of industry experts believe that property values will not rebound until incomes increase, and you know a lot a lot of people are unrealistic about property values. They think maybe in one year something can get turned around and in one year we can have a 15 20 percent increase and that's just not going to happen. What's going to happen is you know as incomes increase the two to three percent they do every year that you'll find property values correspond with that and they increase. And they come up to two or three percent. So initially we've probably had a hit of 10 to 20 percent in our area. Well it's going to take four to six, seven years even for property values to come back up. But the good thing is they, they are projecting them to come back up. We're just being hit right now with a double dip recession and high unemployment. Um, there's another factor to take into effect, take into account here. When, when you're looking at should you sell right now or should you wait, you have to take into account the interest rate. On some 30-year loans, most interest rates are below 4.5%. There's even some loans out there with interest rates below 4%. Money is dirt cheap to borrow. And, you know, when you take into, when you take into account that you're probably going to lose some equity, this, you know, invisible equity that you had when the market dropped, but you will gain it back again when, with the interest rates, you, you could save yourself potentially thousands of dollars. In fact, right now, in, in my best estimation, it is better to go ahead and sell and lose this equity that you, that you thought you had and buy again with interest rates around 4%, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower, depending on you know, what loan package you go with. But with interest rates around 4%, then to jeopardize you know, a five to seven years from now waiting to get your equity back, which could be 10%, 12%, maybe going up a couple of points in interest. That could, that could be a ten dollars or $15,000 swing from you if you go ahead and sell now and take the hit and buy yourself something. Actually, you know, the great thing about this is when you buy yourself something, the person you're buying it from or the corporation or whatever, it's a short sale, it's a foreclosure, or it's a resale, or even, you know, it's a new construction, they're also taking a little bit of a hit on it. You're not buying that property at full price. It's not like you're selling yours at 10% below market value and buying that one at 10% above market value. They're both going to be market value. The denominator right here would be the interest rate. Can you can you really afford to wait and take the chance that interest rates climb back up to five and a half, six percent in a couple years? Because that's what's going to happen. As the economy turns around, you're going to find that property values increase and the interest rates will increase. If you need more information, you know, please feel free to give us a call, 478-225-3836, or go to our website, www.arnoldbaxterteam.com. I'd love to talk to you more about it and schedule a consultation with you.